Hello and welcome to the Cabinet of Doll Curios, where you will find creations of horror, beauty and the perfectly imperfect. I start off cutting the hair really short, cutting off the ears. I don't know if this is different plastic or what, but I tested a little bit and it kind of came off. But it's okay because I sanded it and fixed it and it was okay in the end. But it pays to just do a, a little sample of this. Again, I don't know if the face was made out of different plastic because this qu was quite a difficult doll to do. Obviously it's um, had some sort of sound mechanism inside and the arms are all different and the legs didn't bend as much and I couldn't get the head off. Oh, I would have chose a different one if I'd have known, but... Um, yeah, I persevered and just seen it as a challenge. <laughs> Had to as I probably would have gone mad. Even more so. With clothes, I don't have patterns. I, as I said before in many of my videos, I just wing it. I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really means such a lot to me. These videos and the dolls take a long time to do, as you could probably imagine. And just you hitting one second of hitting that subscribe button just makes it all so much more worth it. And, and thank you very much. I didn't want the feet to be pointed like they normally are so again I went with the coping saw and very carefully um, cut out a little chunk, a little triangle of uh, plastic which allowed the foot to go flat. Then got my favourite chunky wool, separated it and then started gluing it directly onto the head. I had to leave some of the existing hair um, on this doll because I couldn't get the head off and even if I did I think there's some sort of sound thing inside mechanism um, compartment area so I couldn't have actually scraped out the hair anyway but it didn't matter as I say because um, this hair is so thick and I glued straight onto the actual head it worked out fine anyway and it still stuck just as good I used tacky glue for this I thought I'd do something a little bit different here so I'm making her Burmese python she absolutely adores this I think the look in her face says it all I made the python out of epoxy sculpt let it dry for 24 hours once I got it into the desired shape and then painted it I used a broken clay tool for texture which was ideal for the snake skin. Here I am just using various clay tools just to get all the details of the snake's face and head. Then so 
once the epoxy sculpt has dried around about 24 hours but i think i'm impatient and i only waited the next day but because it's quite thin it pretty much dried anyway um, and then i went over it with folk art matte acrylic paint and created the pattern known for the bernese python I put about three layers of matte acrylic paint on this and then I went over it with the white powder to literally give the white powder effect of a, a clown's face makeup. Using pan pastels, these give great pigmentation with just a little drop. went in with watercolour pencils after I sprayed a layer or two of Mr Super Clear.
Here I'm heating up warbler plastic for the boots. It only needs around about a minute of really hot air from a hairdryer on this to make it nice and pliable. And it does start to set probably in about I don't know, 20 seconds or so, depending on the thickness and size of the, the warbler. But again, you can reheat it again and again using the hairdryer to actually get it into a shape if you don't manage to do it on time. These dolls truly are one-off because I literally don't use any patterns for the clothes. Here I'm using folk art acrylic matte paint to go over the warbler boots. And then once dried, I'll go over with pastels to create that worn, aged look as though treading on the ground and getting dirty as well. And then I'll spray Mr. Super Clear to keep the pastels in their place. As I think these dolls look so much more adorable when they're slightly aged or dirty. I'm just going in with some very watered down black paint. It looks extremely dark here, but as you'll see at the end, when it dries, it goes a lot lighter. It's always best to do it lighter, and that way you can add more layers of watered down paint if you actually want it to be darker. highlights to the eyes with acrylic paint and then going over the eyes and the mouth and a little bit on the nose with gloss varnish. And here she is, Sierra the Clown Snake Handler.